Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Windows 10 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a reset of your Windows 10 computer. So this can be useful if maybe you're having issues with your computer, it's not running correctly, and you want to reset it back to factory settings so that it can be just like it was when it was new. Or if maybe you are selling your computer and you want to make sure that all of your data is removed from it. Now in this tutorial, we'll be going over two different ways to reset your computer. The first will involve resetting it, but leaving all of your files on the computer. So this will remove all the settings that have been changed, all of the printers and Bluetooth devices that have been added to the computer. All of those will be from removed, including all software that was installed. And then the second method we'll be using will reset the computer all the way back to factory settings, removing all software, all settings changes, and all personal files. And if you're selling your computer, I'll even go through some of the settings that will ensure your data cannot be recovered from the hard drive on the computer. Now, one thing to note, I will be recording my screen using a camera rather than just doing a screen recorder, because while I am performing a reset, I will be unable to actually record the screen with the screen recorder. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do on our Windows 10 computer is simply go down to the bottom left and right click the Windows Start button. In the menu that appears, select Settings. Once the Windows 10 settings open, keep in mind that sometimes the Windows 10 settings change in here. So what I recommend doing is simply typing in reset into the search bar and you'll see reset this PC. So go ahead and select that. Now the first option up here for reset this PC under recovery is going to be get started. So we'll select that. And then as you can see in here, we have two different options. The first, keep my files, and the second, remove everything. So first I'll show you what it looks like when you choose the first option of resetting your computer, but keeping your files. So keep note of like a file right here that says test. All of this will be left on the desktop and on the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and select keep my files to remove apps and settings, but keep personal files. We can select how we want to reinstall Windows, either from a cloud download, or if you have the file on hand and you just want to let Windows 10 select that. It is a four gigabyte download, so keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and use the cloud download because that's the easiest. It'll download it automatically and then reinstall it automatically. And then in here, we just need to confirm what we want to do and select next. And then right here, before we actually confirm and start the reset, it just wants to walk us through what will happen. It's going to change the settings back to their default, keep the personal files, download and reinstall Windows, and then remove all apps and programs that have been installed on the computer. I'll go ahead and select reset to begin the process of resetting my computer and leaving the files. So it's going to download Windows 10 first so that it can reinstall it once it's been removed. Once it completes the process of resetting your computer, it'll begin the process of installing Windows back onto your PC. So you want to make sure that you do not turn off your PC during this time because it could cause issues with it going forward. All right, so the reset took about 30, 35 minutes in total. And once it's completed, you'll be asked to simply log in. Now you won't have to go through the process of re-adding accounts or anything like that. Then once your computer boots up, you'll see that I still have my files. The software has been removed, it was installed, but the files on the computer, either on the desktop or in the folders, such as the downloads or documents folders, have all been retained and the computer has been fully reset. So now let's begin the process of performing a full factory reset where not only the applications and settings are reset, but also all your personal files are removed. And we do that by going through the same steps of going down to the Windows Start button, right-clicking it, opening the settings, then in the Windows Settings, searching Reset, and selecting Reset This PC, and then going to Get Started. Now, once the reset options open up, we choose remove everything. And remember, this will delete all your personal files, apps, and settings. So make sure that you back up your personal files. Go ahead and select that. Now we have the same question if we want to download Windows or use a local version of Windows to do it. I'm going to go ahead and select cloud download. And then right here where it says additional settings, this is in a very important part of this process. So if you are selling or giving your computer to someone and that's why you're performing a factory reset, you'll wanna go into the settings here and where it says clean data, go ahead and turn that on. Now, while this will take longer, it might take several hours to perform the reset, it'll go through and ensure that your data cannot be recovered on this computer. So if that's something that you need to do because you are selling or getting rid of your computer, even if you're throwing it out, 
go ahead and turn this on to clean the data off the computer. I'm not going to do that though, because I will be keeping this PC. Once we have that done, all we need to do is select next, and then it will give us a summation of what's gonna happen. We'll remove all your personal files and your user accounts from the PC. We'll remove any changes you made in the settings. All your apps and programs will be removed, and then it will download and reinstall Windows. Go ahead and select reset to begin the full factory reset process. And then it will begin by downloading Windows. Then once your computer has completed going through the factory reset process and reinstalling Windows, your computer will boot up and it'll be just like it was when you first got it. You'll have to go through the setup process of first selecting a country, then a language for your computer. After that, you'll connect it to a Wi-Fi network, and then you have to go through the Windows 10 licensing agreement. And then once you go through all of that, you can add your account to your Windows 10 computer. So this can be the account you used to log into it before. And if you don't have one, you can also create an account here. And then once you get into your computer, it'll be just like it was when you got a brand new PC with no personal files and all of the system settings set to their default. All right, so those are the different ways you can perform a factory reset on your Windows 10 computer. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Windows 10 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.